Again, as caching helps a network to operate more efficiently. It reduces search time and frees up bandwidth. But along with improving efficiency, DNS caching can also be used in a negative way. DNS is used by devices for locating the IP addresses of resources on a network. For large networks, this can consume a fair amount of bandwidth and also leads to longer search times. So how does DNS caching help to fix this issue? After going through the process of resolving an IP address of a resource, for example a website FQDN, that information is then stored within the local cache of the device. This device can be a computer or a DNS server. The information that is stored is called a resource record and the location that is cached is non-authoritative, meaning that it does not own that record. As long as the information is cached locally, the next time a connection is attempted with the website, the information that is cached will be used, eliminating the task of resolving the same IP address once again. This reduces the time it takes to connect to the website and frees up the bandwidth that would have been used to resolve the IP address. The problem with storing a copy of a resource record for later use is that the original record can change at any time, leaving you with a stale copy that will not direct you to the correct location. Time to Live or TTL helps to fix this issue by placing an expiration date on the resource record. This states how long the information will be valid. The TTL can only be configured at the authoritative DNS server. One major security concern with DNS is that it can be used as an attack vector. Because DNS directs devices on where to locate resources, it can be used to mislead by distributing incorrect information. When this is done at the DNS cache level, it is called DNS cache poisoning, where bogus information is sent to the local cache directing devices to counterfeit websites which are attempting to steal personal information. One way to prevent this from happening is to run ipconfig forward slash flush DNS within the command prompt window of the computer you are using. This would clear the local DNS cache and remove any stale or misleading resource record. So in conclusion, DNS caching is used for improving search speeds and freeing up the network. But it does need some oversight, mainly based on the fact that it can be used to direct devices to unwanted locations. That's all for now on DNS caching. Head over to HeyMIT for more information.